Hello and welcome to Essence of Knowledge Satsang. This meeting is specially organized for the participants of the program of the Path of Knowledge, which is also called the Essence of Knowledge program now. And it will be helpful for those who are doing the program, those who are on the different steps of the program. And we are conducting the exams also in this group. So remember that this group is only for people who are currently in the program. This is not open for all. So the advantage is you get the whole time and we do not waste time in discussing useless topics. Focus is totally on the program. It's only for you. So usually whatever is taught in the program, if you have any questions and doubts about it, we will meet here in the group and we'll discuss those questions. So all questions are most welcome, if any. Anup has a question. When we say there is no doer or there is no controller of body, it is just systems in the body which work together or refine themselves to that perfection and actions are just consequences of it. Or am I thinking wrong? No, you are absolutely right. There is no single entity which is controlling body-mind system. There is no agency there. There is no agent. In technical language we say, there is no doer. So it is a self-organizing system, body-mind system. And everything is like this, in this complete manifestation. So whatever happens is some total consequence of actions, which happen automatically. So the action happen and uh, its consequence also happens. Action is done by nobody. So the consequence is not taken by somebody. Nobody is really responsible for the consequences. This is said in absolute sense. You can say from the highest level, this is, these words are coming. These, this teaching belongs to the higher level. What happens in the practical level? our day-to-day -day life, which is completely happening in the illusion. Now, this body-mind is considered as the agent, doer. And you are given a name. Like Anup is the name of this body-mind system. Now, whatever will be done here by the different layers of the system will be attributed to this name, agent, Anup. And uh, actually, there is no such thing. But still, the society and the world operates like this. It operates in complete illusion. And then that person is now held responsible for the actions. So there is nobody who is perfecting something. There is simply the concept like this. It is a useful concept for day-to-day -day living. We call it survival. It is needed for survival. The concept of person, doer, Agent, agency, will, all these things are needed to function in the world. So is it true or is it false? It is false at the higher levels and the concept of doers and all. But it is taken as truth in everyday life. The complete answer comes in at the two levels. If you give only half answer, then it is not satisfying answer. Whenever there is this confusion or a paradoxical situation that there is no doer but who is doing. Guruji told that you are the experiencer, you don't do anything. Why is telling me to do the practices now? <laughs> who, is, who is going to do the practice? So we need to think from the whole point of view here. Not only from the absolute, think from all the angles. And you will see that uh, it can be explained at all the levels nicely, logically. The paradox or contradiction happens only when there is no complete knowledge. Either you know the absolute only or you know only the relative. Hopefully you know the meanings of absolute and relative here. These are Advait terminologies. So relative is all that which is illusion. Absolute is all that which is beyond illusion, which is you. When only half knowledge is there, then it will appear as if there is a contradiction in the teachings. But when you take both the points of views, there is no contradiction. So yes, 
Next question is by Ruchika. How come my consciousness same as your? No, we will not use the word consciousness. There is no such word consciousness in uh, our program. It is not there in path of knowledge also. It is not there in Advaita Vedanta or Buddhism also. So, I will simply assume that you mean the experiencer, the witness. That much is allowed. We can call experiencer as the witness, but we cannot call it consciousness. It has different meaning in some different philosophy. So, usually we want to keep the meanings very pure. We don't want to redefine other words except for those who are totally ignorant or not even on the path. So here I'll simply, I'll understand that you are asking about the experiencer. How come my experiencer same as your? So this question is assuming that there is a thing called experiencer or witness which is mine and which is yours. But what is the truth? I am the experiencer and you are the experiencer. It is not mine. It is not my belonging. I cannot keep it keep it in my pocket. It is not part of my system. So it is wrong to say consciousness and it is totally wrong to say my consciousness. I am the experiencer. This is the knowledge. Now, how am I same as you? And that is also wrong. We are not same. We are one. This is called the knowledge of oneness. Non-duality. Advait. So my first suggestion is to continue in the program. It is very well demonstrated in the program. First thing, you will know why I am same as you or why you and me are one, essentially at the level of essence. Now, there are many aspects of this I, like the mind, the body and everything, matter. And obviously they are not same. <laughs> when we say one, it is at the level of essence. My essence is one and that is also your, your essence. So very nicely demonstrated in the program. The purpose of the program is only this, continue in the program. And secondly, you can do the trignosis program, which we call 3D in short. In 3D, it is told in very short time. Like I said, we do not do lectures here. I mean, it's redundant. It is a repetition. I cannot again demonstrate to you the same thing which is already told in the program. So we do only question answers. Once you reach that chapter where it is shown how the essences are one, there is no, there are no two essences. There are no two, two realities. No, not multiple truths. Truth is one. The essence is one. This is shown. And you go through that or you revise your 3D program if you have already done. If you have not done, you get it done. It takes three hours only. And if you don't understand, then you can ask me again in the next meeting. I'll give you an example that uh, there is a sea, let us say. There are different waves in the sea. Now, how is one wave same as other? And we say that the wave number one is water. Wave number two is water. In that sense, they are one. They are same. But they are both arising in the same sea, ocean. That means the, the ocean is one, the water is one. So they are actually one. Why is there a difference? Because, because the water has taken slightly different form in two waves. One is bigger, one is smaller, one is faster, one is slower. That forms are different. Same way, the essence of you and me is same, which is the experiencer, witness. But the form it has taken are different, which appear as the body-mind system. If you go forward in the program, we do not even call it body-mind. The program is totally um, out of this world. It goes in a lot of detail of what is this which is appearing. And we call it the layered structure of memory, LOM, layers of memory. So you will know that only in the end, uh, after, after let us say chapter number 25 to 30. There we come to know that it is also, the structure is also one. The boundaries are apparent between this, you can say body-mind right now. Just like there is no boundary between two waves, two bumps on the water. They are just shapes of the water. But there is no boundary line between the two. It's continuous. 
we are one at the level of uh, illusion also in the level of what appears as structures body minds they are also part of the same underlying structure this is also told in a lot of detail in the program yes she has done the 3d very good so if you know what is in the essence you will see that uh, no differences can be told between your essence and my essence the differences are not evident that is the way to know because if your essence were different from my essence that means something changed that means it has some qualities but no the essence is completely empty without any qualities that is why it is same actually we cannot say same also and we cannot say one also we can only say that my belief that the essential substance is different are wrong that's all that is the most accurate statement i thought that i am some kind of structure some kind of creature and i saw the difference between different creatures and i assume that we are different but that was a wrong belief that's all and if you want to say more about this what is the same thing then it, it causes problems because neither the language nor the intellect will go there we can only drop drop the belief that they are different and then be content in being what we are being is more important on the path of knowledge than knowing be in your true nature know your true nature that takes one day then be that be that which you are drop the beliefs it is simple this is the end of path of knowledge there is no knowledge no knowledge in the end so if you go step by step it will be very much beneficial yes you will learn a lot there is a lot to learn even after 3d the details are uh, given in this program and my suggestion to everybody is drop these uh, words which are not being used because they will clutter your mind there is actually no need of other words from other philosophies other languages jarda is asking how can i know that my attention level is going up what are the parameters why i am not able to stay fully aware in sleeping state my recommendation is do not worry about attention if your awareness is going up that will be progress attention is only for those people who cannot even start the awareness practice whose attention is completely outside so they are not able to see their own thoughts or emotions or desires for them this attention practice is there to bring the attention inside so if you can attend to your thoughts desires and emotions and sensations in the body not completely engrossed in the world then your attention is okay there is no need to practice it all you need to practice is awareness awareness means knowledge of who you are how will you know that uh, your awareness is increasing you will not forget who you are the amount of time you spend in knowledge will go on increasing and as it goes on increasing you will see that now your sleeping state will be full of awareness but uh, it can take many years many years of continuous practice will be needed to overcome the sleep state or the dreaming state even before the sleep state your dreams will become aware dream so that takes long time but in waking state the awareness can happen immediately from today itself you can start being aware because you have a little bit of control in the waking state on your mental tendencies and so on little bit control over the body also so right now what you can do is try to be aware in the waking state as much as you can and then this will become a habit remember this is a practice practice always means it will take long time like practice of singing practice of dancing practice of driving it will not happen in one day or one week it is a lifelong practice can you sing while sleeping today not possible can you drive while dreaming or sleeping not possible why it will take immense amount of practice to do that and it is not recommended to do that but awareness because it is not a job it is simply state of being remembering only it is recommended that you can continue this state in dreaming or sleep 
but will not happen today it is a lifelong practice even the great gurus great rishis munis they sleep without awareness there is no issue there they are not very serious about it why don't you need awareness in sleep there is no use of it sleep peacefully let the body rest let the mind rest there is hardly any use of awareness there you need awareness more in the waking state where you are doing something important where you are talking to people where you are taking decisions and all these actions must be done in complete knowledge complete knowledge of who you are suppose you start fighting with somebody and you are not aware then that action will happen and then there will be consequences consequences means now you get one more lifetime as a human being to settle that fight that is a major consequence isn't it if you are in awareness you will know that the other person is an illusion the other person is simply my illusory form and i am the whole existence now there will be no desire to fight with anybody there will be no desire to act on this what will happen liberation what is the use of awareness and sleep no use nothing hopefully you understand hopefully everybody understands these things pay attention to awareness where you are acting where you are taking decisions where there are good or bad emotions where there are good or bad thoughts and good or bad desires otherwise there is no use of awareness if you don't have any awareness in waking state is completely waste of spiritual practice subodh is asking even the sadhana to stay in presence is an effort how much effort the mind makes unknowable is still unknowable if you make efforts to know the unknowable that is a wasted effort there should be surrender here that the ultimate being is unknowable not knowable as any other object i can be that i can be the experiencer i can be the whole existence but there is nothing to know there because it is all empty without any qualities only qualities are known so existence is not known like an object that is why it is called unknowable only objects are known the mind should relax here that it is already ultimate i am already ultimate right now right here and there is nothing to know there simply being is the final goal and that much effort is needed that's all effort is needed to give up your ignorance once you are in knowledge there is no effort you are already the experiencer you are already the experience and you are already the existence so how much effort will it take to be that which you already are zero suppose you are a man right now if i ask you do some practice to become a man how many days will it take what what do you need to do to become a man nothing at all so the effort is only in dropping the ignorance try to give up the ignorance try to question your ignorance why i don't know myself how come i always think that i am a body instead of thinking about uh, my essence why do i always give importance to form instead of uh, giving importance to the truth and being the truth takes no effort it will take a lot of effort to be that which you are not but it won't take any effort to be that which you already are yes you are only a witness there is nobody to control anything and when the actions happen they happen through body and mind we do not even say that the body is doing it or mind is doing it there is no doer at all so the correct way to say it is that actions happen actions of body actions of mind the body is also mind there is no difference between body and mind so we say body mind one word so there is nobody now to ask this question what to do is wrong because there is nobody to do anything if you are not the doer what will you do nothing the actions will happen now there is a thought sometimes the thought also happens that this action was not necessary or that action was incorrect this action was good that action was bad and these thoughts are also happening in the mind nobody is thinking it it is appearing like this all you all you can do is remain the witness which is not really doing isn't it so being which you already are don't be anybody this is the awareness practice don't be anything else 
remain the witness so there also you remain the witness and this is the experiment do not try to do anything there is no doer as soon as a thought comes in the mind that i need to do something it is not you it is the mind and let the thought be there you witness that also witnessing of the thought should happen another thought will come it was really bad action but watch it also then another thought will come i need to do something else and that action will happen watch watch it also do not assume that i did this now, now the important part if you do this experiment if you continue like this slowly the mind will settle down slowly this ignorance will be dropped that i am the doer and whenever there is a time to do any action there will be a thought in the mind whether this action is necessary or not because the watcher is there the witness is there so the mind has a auto control now and there will be a thought that i am watching all the mind is not watching but there will be a thought that i am watching very carefully what is happening is this action which i am going to do necessary or not so that will give the time for the intellect to arise intellect takes a little bit of time 2 3 minutes and then the decision will happen and that decision will be correct decision now that bad action will not happen now another interesting thing the good action will also not happen and I, this is your homework i mean you will need to find it out yourself hmm i'm very happy that your uh, practice is going to this level that uh, you could think about these things so very good you are progressing very nicely now whatever i said is a little bit tricky isn't it the first thought that will come in the mind is how can i simply remain witness i need to do something about this this is not the right action is and all you need to do is simply watch again let it do whatever it, it is doing this mind and initially the body will do whatever it is doing since many years actually many lifetimes so the habitual tendencies very difficult to change in one day like i was telling her do not worry about sleep it is not going to change in one day so same way the body mind and its actions they do not change in one day still instead of changing in many many years because of your practice awareness practice it will change in few months probably just like you said there is no good action no bad action so we call it unnecessary action instead of calling it good or bad we call it necessary or unnecessary in the unnecessary both good and bad actions come so you will find that in 24 hours in one day most of the actions we do are necessary eating sleeping taking a bath doing our work going to office talking to somebody most of the actions are really necessary there will be only one or two actions that will be unnecessary like saying some bad words to somebody making a joke or eating unhealthy food or going to some place just to kill time so on so there will be one or two actions that will be unnecessary you can say that 90% of the actions are okay from the point of view of this human being no problem at all only 10% actions are causing problems so you need to only change that 10% the your job is very easy actually if you have the awareness during that 10% of time your job is done you can relax for the 90% of the time your life is already very good obviously you are seekers you all are very very educated intelligent people probably you are not doing anything wrong in your life probably nothing only a few actions for example attachment with somebody for example too many expectation from somebody else like your relatives and all uh, probably watching the news and then worrying about what kind of hell i am living in so that the hell is not a problem the watching the news is a problem isn't it so these actions are totally unnecessary if you are aware during those actions you will see yourself this stop dropping they happen less and less and less this is automatic nobody is doing it i'll give you an example suppose you are cooking and you touch a hot pan now immediately you will withdraw your hand there was an action which happened completely in darkness which means unawareness it is just an example okay and there was a reaction withdrawing your hand that also happened totally unawareness totally in darkness 
you can say this is the life of a person who has no knowledge who has who is not doing any awareness practice action reaction actions happen in darkness and then reaction happens in darkness and whenever there is unpleasant reaction and pleasant consequence we say that it was my mistake it was a bad action this is what is happening for ordinary people but let us say once you got this experience of getting burnt by hot pan next time you take care when you are cooking you are fully aware that the pan is very hot that this much awareness you should have while cooking only for 10 minutes while you are boiling something in the pan or frying something at that time do not touch the hot pan that much will the hand burn no will that reaction happen no how did that happen automatically because once there was an awareness you got burnt unpleasant experience it became as a memory impression next time it is remembered this is a simple example same thing will happen in all the actions if you are aware okay because of habit because of darkness you did something which was unnecessary but now it has made an impression in the mind next time simply be aware let that impression the new impression and pleasant reaction let it arise little bit give it some time to arise and then with that the intellect will arise and you will see that you are not acting now just like you are not touching the hot pan you will automatically not act on the unnecessary this is the magic of awareness although it is so simple so do not do anything to stop the actions or to do some good action no 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 there is no doer simply be aware and the system will do whatever is necessary you see the system is also really perfect there is a feedback in the system that you did something wrong now suffering you touch the hot pen now pain it is a perfect system why do we keep doing the unnecessary actions ignorance stupidity why is there this kind of ignorance you are living with ignorant people there is no other <laughs> there is no other reason you have seen people do ignorant kind of actions and you repeated it so it is very simple do not copy others take your own decision take them in complete awareness awareness in waking state is very important and especially awareness in these 10% actions is important rest of the time enjoy relax be in peace do not even worry about awareness do not worry about path of knowledge or whether i am experiencer or existence or what these are only thoughts even if you keep th- keep thinking 24 by 7 that i am experiencer that is only a thought this is only r- running the machine without any need like a clock it keeps running is not needed so ultimately what will happen is you will drop the awareness practice also because it is like automatic awareness every day 24 by 7 it will be automatic because now it is a new habit instead of the old habit of darkness new habit of awareness it will take some time you should have that kind of patience in these 3 months of practice in the program while you are in the program you are simply getting a training like when you want to learn driving for one month they give you training drive like this turn here turn there brake is here but uh, you will drive not only for 3 to 1 month you are going to drive for whole of your lifetime same way the awareness training is being given i am the instructor on the passenger seat here so i am just watching what do you do that's all i do and i give you instructions but after this 3 month is over after your program is over you will need to do it for whole of your life and just like the car driving becomes automatic you can drive while talking you can drive while eating and some people they can drive while sleeping half asleep they drive and they wake up as soon as there is some something in front of the car same way you will become habitual of awareness it is automatic awareness so whole lifetime seems like a lot of work but no it is a state of being it is not a work it is not a job Subodh is saying, "Can you talk more on surrender? Surrender means accepting that uh, I have some ignorance. First thing, any student should accept this much. I have ignorance. Second is, only a guru can liberate me from the ignorance. The only re- liberation there is is libra- liberation from ignorance. There is no other liberation. You are already completely free, liberated. So 
this is the second surrender that only a guru can liberate me only a guru can destroy my ignorance and the third surrender is that there is nothing to know beyond this final knowledge that is given by the guru the final words of the guru this is the end of knowledge here surrender starts so when there is surrender there is complete knowledge when the student surrenders ignorant students there is a chance of knowledge because he is accepting i don't know second when the surrender happens in front of the guru there is a chance that guru will teach you something otherwise the gurus are so busy they will simply say okay come next year the third surrender when it happens after knowledge that this is complete this evidence is perfect this is the final truth and this cannot happen if you do not do any kind of contemplation on the teachings we we call it verification actually old language is contemplation so after contemplation abidance happens automatically there is no effort there is no struggle to abide and then the fruits of the abidance they happen which is purification termination of human birth that does not mean death that means stopping of human birth so there are many fruits the surrender will happen in three stages so both is asking must there be contemplation when the attention is taken to that memory less awareness are there different thing contemplation means thinking about the teaching is it uh, true is it false is the evidence proper is it logical that is called contemplation uh, listening contemplating abiding awareness means it is the post knowledge contemplation means while you are learning so you are at the stage of listening here the important part is to learn the concepts learn the words their precise meaning their definitions check what is your experience check how many beliefs blind beliefs you had and that will prepare you for verification during verification you can contemplate the main teachings and probably it will take only one or two day to find out whether they are true or not it is just like trying to know it is day or night just look out of the window you will come to know there is no long process of contemplation is simple usually the most of the contemplation will take place at the level of evidence what constitutes the evidence it is said on the path of knowledge that direct experience is the evidence and intelligence or logic is the evidence now there the doubts happen and once that step is over you are confident that yes these are the means of knowledge and knowledge can happen in this way only direct experience analyzed with intelligence then the knowledge appears then there is nothing to verify then everything is crystal clear your direct experience is in right in front of you right now right here also but, but yes it takes a little bit of time to learn this thing so step number 2 is like hand holding look this is your direct experience this is the logic the answer is this second topic this is the direct experience this is the logic the answer is this so like this we go through the fundamental knowledge so my um, suggestion is to do it properly first then worry about contemplation attention and all they are all later stages why do we call it disciplined program because we don't allow you to do anything else except the program you should do exactly that which is told in the program as soon as you start doing something else it means uh, there are less chance of success now so i think everybody got their answers we can conclude today's meeting here i'll see you next time thank you everybody for attending the meeting